Hello everyone, in today's video I'm excited to introduce you to the new toolbar control in Power Apps, now available in preview. This fantastic control is designed to help you build a better user interface with ease. Remember when we had to add multiple controls that appears in each gallery row just to perform different actions? It was pretty clunky, right? Well, those days are over. With this toolbar control, you will enjoy a cleaner user interface that enhances the overall user experience. So let's dive in and see how it works. I have an existing app and if you are interested in how I develop features like left navigation, the gallery user interface or the sorting and filtering functionality, simply click on the top right corner to access the Power App UI playlist. You will find video for each of these components in the playlist. So let's start building the toolbar control. First I need to click on this insert drop down and then I need to search for toolbar. So you can see it's a preview feature. I will select that and I will move this in the header. I will make a little bit bigger. Okay, so there are two key properties of the toolbar control which are items and on select. The item properties, if I click on format text and just make a little bigger, the item property handles the UI, determining which controls like button or icons appear in the toolbar and how they are displayed. So you can see here the item key and the display name and the icon name and the appearance and icon style and tooltip value. So I will leave this as it is for now. And the second property is on select. If I click on format text, the on select defines the action each control will trigger when clicked, making it easy to customize what happened when a user interact with the toolbar. So you can see there is a switch statement and for each action it is at the moment notifying the user that you have clicked this button. So we'll make an update to this one. So at the moment, I only have this home screen and issue screen. Let's create a new screen which will show the issue form. So I will go click on new screen and then I will select header and form screen. It is automatically showing me the header and in terms of the form, I will select issue tracker list. Let me quickly add the icon for this header. So on the right hand side, I will go under the logo menu and then either I can upload it or I can use an existing one. In this case, I will just use Contoso. Now we need to connect this issue form screen to the issue gallery. So let me just rename this screen to issue form and if I select the form and on the item property I will give this a variable. I will call it, I will define that variable soon, just call it issue record. Now I need to navigate back to the issues screen and then I will select the gallery and then on select property of this gallery, I will create that variable which is set issue record to this item. So whichever item will be selected, that will be the value in the variable. Hence, when it goes to the issue form, it knows which item to display. All right, so now if I select this form and on select property, we need to change this code. At the moment, it is just notifying people. I've just replaced the code. So if someone click on the new button, it will trigger the new form request for the form one, which is the issue form. And you can see there's a form one inside the issue form. Okay. So, and navigate to the issue form. And if someone click on the edit, it will call the edit form function and navigate to the issue form. If someone select a delete, then it will call the remove function and select the list and then issue record, which is the variable. So it will delete that record. Or for the info, it will use view form, form one and navigate to the issue form. One more thing I need to do, I need to go to issue form and for the cancel button, I will just navigate back to the issue screen just to demo you. So if I go and play that and if I click on cancel, it navigate me back to the issue gallery. Now the problem is if I select anything, I will not know that I have selected something or not. And the other issue is that this delete is disabled. So let's enable that. So if I select this and click on this on select drop down, you won't see that option here. But if I go to items property, you will see that delete item icon is disabled. So we'll make it false. 
you can have a condition here that if you select an item then only enable it otherwise keep it disabled but for this demo purpose i will just enable it okay so if i go play i can select one item website not working and click on info for example and i can see all the information click on cancel i'm back to that screen let's do one more thing so at the moment we don't know which row we have selected i have already created a rectangle here and i have given the theme primary color for this rectangle i can change this fill property to say something like if this item is selected then use the lighter color otherwise use the primary color now you can see the website not working was selected hence it is highlighting that row so if i click on play and if i select a different row you can see that now we know which row we have selected and when we click on edit we know that it is taking us to the edit screen for the same row I click on cancel now if i go on the first one if i select the first one and click on delete this is live final option traditional if i click on delete it will delete that record and refresh the gallery for me if you are enjoying the content and want to keep leveling up your skill don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you never miss an update join the community and let's build awesome apps together now you understand how this toolbar works you can enhance this toolbar to add other action in this toolbar for example if you want to trigger a flow you can add a flow icon here and on item select you can trigger a flow and you can do many more action without compromising the user interface using this new toolbar control so thank you very much for watching i will see you in the next video